Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing my bike. This is my Canyon Spectral AL 5.0. Okay, so through the website, it is really easy to buy. Uh, you get aluminium models and carbon frame models running from about 2,000 to 6,000 pounds. And you get four different sizes, extra small all the way up to large. So there's a lot of options for you to choose when you're buying a Spectral. Okay, so the bike took about two, three months to come. And when it come, it come in a big box uh, with a load of foam around all of the stuff. It was well packaged, but when it came, I did actually get a little scratch on my stanchions. But uh, it was easy to build up as well. All I had to do was put the dropper in, and it comes with a good instruction manual. I just put the bars on, put the front wheel in, and obviously just set up the suspension. So it was easy to set up, and packaging is all right, but hopefully yours doesn't come with scratches on it like mine did. Okay, so when I first got on the bike, the first time I'd ever ridden it, I noticed that the seat was a bit hard. Obviously, I've changed it out for my WTV seat. If you want to see a full review on it, click on the top right hand of your screen. Um, the grips were good, but they started to wear down as I used the bike more. And the pedals, they came with like plastic Wilgo ones, which are absolutely rubbish. But I swapped, I, as soon as I got the bike, I put on new proof pedals. Um, the other thing I know is the suspension was really, really supportive as soon as you get on. As long as you set it up, obviously, properly. Um, everything was smooth, but obviously, as the bike gets more used, it's come. Uh, it started to break and wear down a little bit, but we'll talk about that later in the video. Okay, so I'm going to start diving in on a bit more information of more specific parts. So I'll start with the brakes. It comes with a pair of SRAM guide tees, uh, four piston hydraulic brakes. At first, they were like really sharp, and obviously, as I've got to use it more, the sharpness started to go. So after about five months, if I wanted to get the sharpness back, I'd have to bleed them. So they lasted quite well for brakes, seeing as how much I'm using the bike, probably about three, four times a week. So, brakes are good. They're not very powerful, but they're good, they last long. So, the bike came stock with a SRAM NX Eagle drivetrain. Uh, it's a 12 speed, it's got a SRAM NX Eagle derailleur, 12 speed NX Eagle cassette, NX Eagle front chain ring, uh, narrow wide, but then an SX Eagle chain. My first impressions of it was it's got a really good clutch, which means it's silent. Um, it's really crisp for shifting when it's set up properly, but it's also, if you knock it a little bit, it does go out of the line quite easily, so as long as you uh, don't hit it too much, it'll work really nice. And it's also got an NX Eagle shifter, so it is a good drivetrain, just make sure you don't knock it because it messes up quite easily. The suspension setup is made by RockShop, so it's got a Super Deluxe Select Plus Shock 2020, and then 2020 RockShop Pipe Select Forks. Um, if you want to see a full review of my faults, click on the top right hand of your screen. So I run 20% sag front and rear because obviously I do jumping so I want it a bit stiffer and more support. Three volume spaces in the back. My bike came stock with three volume spaces and I have none up the front. So that ramps up really really nicely. I don't really bottom that out and then I'm literally down into flat off the five foot drop. Same with this. I never really bottom that out unless I'm down into flat off the five foot drop. So I don't really have anything bad to say about the suspension. It's all works really really well, easy to set up, looks good so okay so I actually forgot to mention one thing so the rebound comes to 20 clicks of different modes so you can change it from like fast to slow 20 different times it also comes with a lockout so right now I can squish that down quite easily if I put the lockout on literally just one mode it doesn't move that doesn't move at all really um, so that's obviously better for climbing um, the forks only has five different compression adjustments, so low speed. So as you go up a lip, it will get stiffer as you go up. But um, it tracks roots really, really well. Small bump sensitivity is really good on the shock, especially. That's what Canyon on this bike is basically famous for. But um, it tracks the ground really well, and it also has a lockout for climbing. Obviously, any bike has to come with wheels. So this wheel set is a Race Face AR30, so they have 30 spokes. Boring, but some people might want to know about that and then the tyres you get a Maxxis Aggressor at the back and a Minion DHR2 up the front I have nothing bad to say about the Aggressor it's really really grippy it's good for climbing the DHR2 is like really grippy I haven't ever slipped out on the front the only bad thing about it is because it's obviously it's the softest compound that Maxxis make so when you're on tarmac and you're climbing you can feel how soft it is and it actually gives you a lot of resistance um, I run about 60 psi on it, so that's how grippy they are. I don't really slip out even at 60. Um, if it gets really muddy though, like the other day when I rode a ball track, I ran 30 psi. But the tyres are good, except from the front one. I would change that because it's a bit too soft. But the wheels are really good as well. No snap spokes yet. 
the tension's held up quite well over a lot of cases on big jumps, so all good. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the contact points that came with the bike, obviously the saddle, the grips and the pedal. So it came with uh, Canyon G5 grips, which were good at first, and they started to wear down. And because they weren't very soft, it literally just became like holding onto a wet and soft piece of rubber. Uh, the saddle was an SDG saddle. Um, that was way too hard, I actually hated it. And then the pedals, they came with like them plastic Welgo ones, but I changed it out for some plastic neutral ones, and they've got metal pins in. They're really, really good. Pedals, 100%, I changed them out. They are so bad. Like, you could literally crack them by going over a roof. The grips were okay for about four, three months, something like that. The saddle, you could probably last in it if you was um, a bit lighter. I could just found it a bit too hard. So I swapped out my grips for WTB grips and my saddle for WTB Volt and the pedals for no proof neutrons. Um, so after having it for six months, I'm going to tell you how well it's held up. Um, the headset has already started to go. That won't be in like the first four months. It, like, you can hear it rattling about if you're going down a concrete path or whatever. It also feels like really gritty when you do that. Um, the bottom bracket creaks about once a month, but I think that's just because it's grit in there. That's going to happen. Um, the chainstay bearings are absolutely fine. I've been putting silicon shine my mark off on them every now and then. So that's obviously helped the headset as well when I do that. So that is one thing I'd say. Just keep checking your headset bearings and your bottom bracket bearings. But I might ride a little different to some of you. Like I'm landing just flat on some jumps, so they're probably getting crushed every now and then. So. But overall it has held up really well for how what sort of style I ride and how often I ride it. So it has held up very well. Another thing that I saw a lot when I was looking at reviews on this bike is that a lot of people say that the chain stay snaps quite easily, but when I researched it, there was actually a fault happened on the 2018 Spectrals. I haven't had any cracks on my frame, um, touch wood, but um, the suspension still feels smooth, the seals aren't damaged yet, even though it came with a scratch and sanctions. So is this bike for you? Um, it's more of an aggressive trail bike, so it still has like sort of trail bike geometry. It's got a 66 degree head angle, 430 mm chainstay, but it's got 160 mm front travel, 150 rear. So it's a bit more of like a more of an aggressive trail bike. So it's a for an aggressive trail rider because you can go down bigger descents on it, hit bigger jumps on it. Another thing that I'd say is it's more like it's more it's like an enduro based trail bike. So if you was an enduro rider but you wanted a bike that could climb a bit better. Um, you might want to go for this. It's got a dropper post with 150mm drop, so you can climb very easily and well on it. It's quite light as well, only like 14 kilograms, something like that. So it's also for enduro bike and wants to climb a bit better. And it is also very good if you're a beginner because it gives you a lot of confidence. It's a confidence inspiring bike. It will help you to like hit descents on it. When I bought this bike, my like riding changed for the good. Like a lot, I became a lot better rider. It helped me relax a bit more in the air. So. Definitely a good bike for everyone and anyone who wants to buy it. Okay, so overall the bike is really, really good. I'd say it's probably one of the best value for money bikes. So I paid £1,950 and then £50 for shipping, so £2,000. And I've got a RockShox bike on it, RockShox Shock, uh, NX Eagle drivetrain, and race face bars, race face wheels, Maxxis tyres. So really, really good value for money. It's also held up quite well for how often I ride it and what sort of style of riding I do. It's also um, handles every single terrain that you throw at it, except from like obviously World Cup downhill trails. But um, it's a really good bike for anyone who wants to buy it and ride it. It's affordable, so yeah, very, very good. Okay, everyone, that is the end of the video. This is my review of my Canyon Spectral AL 5.0. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it actually helped you decide if you wanted to buy this bike or not. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to watch another video of mine, click on the top right hand of your screen right now. I'll see you next week.